We're back here with Jack Joyce and the greatest custodian alive. This guy is mopping the floor better than any man before, and we return with Quantum Break. Thanks so much for all your support. Keep hitting that like button. We're going to check out this board. Do not use the radar tower entrance as a smoking area. Cronon text wanted. Please return all used cups to the kitchen. Friday social. Bada bing, bada boom, bada boom, bada bing. There is something right here. But, oh, it's through there. I swear I recreated that. I don't know why it's still showing up. Anyhow, we have to get to Amaral's office, which is over in the corner. After exploring this entire room, knocking this guy's things around, making him sad with his goofy facial expression as he's frozen in the stutter. Hopefully, Amaral's office will have some good goods for us to uncover. This is not it, though. Where was it? Oh, it's this back corner one. That's right. All right, Sophia. Show us the light. The yeah, Amaral had tried to warn Paul. The end of time was approaching quickly. Less than 24 hours away. Mr. Serene believed it would take years to run its course. Admittedly, he was wrong. All right, this is from Sophia to Paul Serene, Dream Journal. Jack Joyce in our custody. I thought it relevant to forward you a message you sent me years ago. Do not underestimate the significance he holds in life. However, when he sees the whole picture, let no trust but to believe. You show us the light. Give him time. Sophia, as promised in the latest session, this is from uh, 2013. I'm now going to transcribe it or call from my dreams. I still have doubts that this exercise will help alleviate my symptoms, his Cronon disease, but I'm willing to explore the idea further if you truly believe it's merit. Uh, here is my first attempt. I recall a haunting image of seven red doors. Each door had a wrought iron handle that was dripping liquid metal onto the ground, creating a pool in the middle of the room. I looked down into the aqueous, aqueous, sorry, metallic glow at my feet to see my own glimmer and reflection, revealing that I had aged half a lifetime. Startled, I looked back up to discover that only one door remained. Jack Joyce stood in front of it. The heat in the room was overwhelming. Jack was sweating profusely, his skin red and peeling open. Ew. He begged me to take him back home, but there was no door leading home. I opened the only door left and entered, discovering that we were back in the same room we had just exited. He refused to come to terms with this and opened the door again. I followed him over and over as he desperately opened the doors, forever leading us back to where we started. The heat grew and he howled in pain, begging to know why I made the other doors disappear, why there was only one path. He begged me to bring the other doors back. He begged me to take him home. The iron pool burst into flames. Jack screamed in agony. I grabbed him, told him we needed to learn to endure the heat to embrace the flames. This is all about embracing the end of time and going for it. Uh, my body began to sway. I was no longer one being in one piece in time. My life force spread evenly across the flames. I could feel Jack being consumed within my essence. I felt a power within the heat, a clarity of intent. I became the very thing that I entered, and it became me. A cyclical fury chasing itself, Ouroboros. I woke up in a cold sweat. Time is the fire. Interesting. So time eats itself up. That painting. Quite the magical. Quite mysterious. All right. Projected fracture progression. We do not know why the original projection was wrong. Taking the rate of acceleration. They thought it would give them years until the fracture reached the point where time breaks down. The stars are happening more and more frequently. 24 hours till the end of time. Oh, man. Okay. Order to achieve monarch solution state goals. The light boat should be activated ASAP. There is the, uh, the belt. Cronon disrupted wave function subject, aka shifters. Much of what we know about the shifters is theoretical. Remember, this is Dr. Kim, his, like, sort of goblin body. Uh, based on observations made by Mr. Serene and limited ob experimentation we've had, they do not seem to have a stable physical presence. They fragment, contradict. Multiple versions or countless versions of the subject occupying the same space. They somehow exist in a persistent sta state of quantum superposition. Or, to put it another way, with reference to the famous Schrodinger's cat thought experiment, the cat is both alive and dead at the same time. Weird. Highly resistant to injury. Even if the shifter encounters deadly force, it may kill one of its aspects, but because it exists as multiple iterations, it doesn't kill the shifter itself. Only way to stop a shifter is to cause its wave function to collapse from the superposition to a single eigenstate. The shifter must be affected with deadly force enough times for it to run out of healthy versions of itself. Holy cow. Contact with the shifter is extremely dangerous. Oh, man. They can only, can only exist in a zero state, an area which has been depleted of chronon particles. Stutters in time. Shifters are hostile to any source of chronon particles other than themselves and the stutters. So any chronon active individual within a stutter may find themselves targeted by shifters. Oh, so we'll be ready to fight them. Movement in stutters, by which we mean the very movement of particles, disturbs them and they respond with considerable aggression. They're extremely resistant, extremely formidable. Their biggest threat is the distortion field around them. Hmm. Close proximity to shifter may be fatal. Wow. Stutter proofing technology. Shifter simply cannot exist within them. Huh. As long as stutter proofing remains active, shifters are not a problem. Cronon dampeners annihilating free floating cronon particles, but that'll also dampen me. I wonder if I'm going to sacrifice myself to Dr. Kim. 
huh. Diameter's effects are unpleasant. It will make it awkward for Mr. Serene. I got that. We're going to find all the narrative objects. CFR briefing. The Cronon Field Regulator CFR is the heart of all the technological advances. It's been hugely influential. We think of Dr. Kim as the father of all this technology, but for all his brilliance, it was his dedication to uncovering the secrets that allowed him to make the breakthroughs. Despite Dr. Kim's hard works, the CFR's functionality is still not fully understood, and we have not been able to replicate the device. Having more than one of them would obviously be greatly advantageous. That is where Will comes in. Take too much risk to take it apart. CFR not... Did they just find the CFR randomly? Weird. CFR can not only store an immense amount of chronon particles, it can also tap into the Meyer Joyce field and with great precision manipulate it. CFR changes all that. When the permanent stutter proving installed in the lifeboat, indeed the very stutter proving that makes the lifeboat the lifeboat in the first place, is detected directed by the CFR, the system becomes vastly more efficient. Our chronon particle consumption is reduced to around 1% of what it otherwise would be. Okay. The CFR makes the difference between lightboat being a temporary stopgap or a very long-term undertaking. That hopefully allows to eventually find a solution at the end of time. Interesting. 17... Oh, that was Intel. I'm missing one of the uh, pieces, but that's okay. Let's grab his belt and get on our way. That there looks like what Beth wanted. It's a belt. It's oh, a belt. shit. <gasps> Emerald's at the party. Crap. The stutter won't last. I better find a way out of here and get to the party. Okay. We gotta get to the hotel, motel, holiday, and party quickly. And I think my way out is down in that exit path. And we'll head there. Hopefully find Amaral. Quite expensive piece of tech you stole. Bill me. I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. Had to get it to her at the party before it was too late. Alright, we'll head out this yellow room. And hopefully save Amal lore before her doom. Let's go, Jack. Okay. There is Cronon nearby. Oh, dude. Come on, your work. Adventurous religious singles dating website. That is quite interesting. What's this one say? Time Machine Core to Kara Avero. We do not require the time machine to be activated in the near future, but from this point forward, I want technicians on standby. Absolute control. Okay, that's after they installed the core. Do you have the Cronon juice? It's like right here. Behind that wall. Alright, let's see if it's down the hall or where it may be. Garage. Sounds like the way out of this place. Parking garage is there, but what I need to find is the rest of the goodies. So we're almost ready for a six god upgrade. Eight Cronon sources in this chapter. Looking fly. Alright. This, this, uh, these last couple episodes have been a lot of reading, but it's giving us so much good detail and info on the game. It's really important, I think. The lifeboat located at Monarch HQ, completely stutter proof, maintained with Cronon particles, limited capacity. Mr. H. Martin Hatch will give the lifeboat activation prep speech instead of Mr. Serene. S will interrogate Joyce, okay? Keeping things under control. And you know this is a less uh, reading intensive chapter because there's only seven of those uh, things as opposed to 17. So we'll head towards the garage. Ooh, ooh. Whoa, time is freaking out again. Looks like we are about to do some battle royales. Which is, I am excited for. Give me the time to activate Sublime. I've got six points and so I want multi takedown. Thank you. Now I can bum rush at a bunch of people. Now, here we go. Why do I feel like these guys are gonna come alive? All I had to do was make it through the garage. Seems simple enough. Hello? Okay. Ah, time shoot! Boom, and here we go. Rush at him. Melee takedown. Go. Okay. All right, that should work. It freeze all time. All time is frozen. The four bolts in the U. U. Head 
shot from far away. Today is definitely my day. Boom! That's like my Dragon Ball Z Superman punch. Beautiful. And we send that guy off to dreamland. Alarm's not gonna make my life any easier. No, it is not. It's gotta be a way out of here. What is this? Adventures in Flesh by L. Hakola. What? Chapter Hell? 11. Is someone clean? An audio book on the radio? Oh my god. Whatever that is, shut it off now. Hey, Club Reese. I think I'll just Damn. leave that right there. Somebody find out where down. that's coming from. This is supposed to be a secure channel. Yeah, turn it off. Alright, I got all wrapped around, but I'm supposed to be heading this way, it looks like. To get out of here. Is that a heavy pistol? No, it's just pistol ammo. Oh, there is a piece of chronon close. Through here, but apparently I can't get in there yet. Let's see if we can head here first. <gasps> oh no! Machine gunner! Oh shit. Okay. Alright, we know how to make this work. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let your belt bite, cause I beat That's you what I'm up. Alright. Let's uh let's take the light machine gun just to see what that's like for a change. In we go. Beth, I got that device for you, but Dr. Amaral's at the party. Yeah, I just spotted her. Wanna be my date? <laughs> yeah, save me that cocktail weenie. I'll make my way there. I see Hatch getting shot at was an insider job. I create a window for us, but Serena's looking for you. Remember what we said. I'll keep him occupied, but switch to the monarch and make sure you stay out of his crosshairs. Beth, I've got coming. I'll see you at the party. Alright, we gotta make it work with all of our moves set here. Try and oh, that sh whoa, Nelly. Holy crap. I'm gonna take cover behind this car if I can create a little safe space for me here. Okay. Alright. Oh crap. Oh my golly. Okay, we took that guy down. I need cover. Oh, and I'm dead. That's only my second death of the game. Ugh. I guess I gotta take cover more, uh, more frequently in this one. It was that car exploding, though, that I think got me good. Okay, so here we go. We'll take the light machine gun. We'll shut off the alarm. Beth. Yeah, we know I what Beth's going to say. Me, Dr. Amaral's at the party. Yeah, I just spotted her. Okay. Want to be my date? Nope, I got a date with a bunch yeah, of Monarch Militia. Thing. I'll make my boom, way there. Boom, boom, make them go boom. We've got company, and they are here real company. soon. I'll see you at the party. Okay, dude's over that way. Ow, okay. Gotta make sure I stay out of harm's way. The most dangerous thing is let these guys get you. I'm gonna go from the back. Because I think it was these guys far away that were causing me the most honest pain. Really wish I had that carbine rifle right about now. Okay, we're doing a lot better. Managing this facility with a lot more prowess. Okay, let's do this. The big dude is over there. That should buy me time to reorient myself. Yeah, let's do this. Yes! That is one way to take him out nice and quick. Alright, let's swap this light machine gun for that light machine gun. And then say goodnight to that guy. Hey! 
Make you bleed, make you pay. Make you bleed, make you pay. I'm getting out of here today. Out of here today. Yeah, I'll ra I'd rather have a shotgun than the uh, semi-auto. Where is it? It's like right here. Hmm. And you're back for some quality time with Bobby Radford. Hope you're doing okay tonight, Riverport. It's been a pretty freaky day. And I'm kind of hoping things will calm down now. I'd sure like to go back to normal, put these events behind us. Personally, I feel like that ain't gonna happen, you know? Ain't no going back to normal. But back in the day, I used to think that Monarch was good news for this town. They brought in a lot of jobs, and I don't know if you remember it, but man, did we need those jobs bad. Unfortunately, that came with a price tag, and we're paying for it now. Now, they're playing those classic corporate games where they keep screwing us. And they lie about it. And they deny responsibility. And even if somebody manages to nail their asses to the wall for it, they'll just lawyer up and wiggle off the hook somehow. Hell, that's business as usual in America, folks. You get used to that. It's what they all do in the end, one way or another. But Monarch, I keep flashing back to how Monarch security boys work people over at the university. How maybe they did worse than that. Shit. We used to cops getting away with that. But these guys don't even have badges. That kind of thing, it just don't sit right with Bobby, Riverport. And it shouldn't sit right with you. So get off your ass and do something about it. Call your councilman now. Do something about it. And that thing looks like it's right there, but I, I don't see it, so I don't know. Maybe it's in the next room. I need the exact coordinates for Ooh. Joyce ASAP. Monarch Actual is moving in to intercept. Uh-oh. This is Home Guard 5. Just spotted him entering the tunnel system outside the party grounds. Huh. Beth. Good work, I'm Beth. On my way. He took out my entire squad. Requesting immediate backup in here. Oh, there's the drone. <gasps> Oh, it started right before it kills Dr. Sophia Amaral. We gotta hurry. We gotta freaking hurry. Thanks for that point, man. I could see the mansion where the gala was. Yeah. I had to find a way to get there. Drones. I could see the energy field of another monarch chromon. Drain my powers. Oh, great. I'd have to find a way to shut him off. <clears throat> I'm guessing it's that thing, the red. My powers will work within that sphere. Ugh. I better be careful. Okay, oh, it's this entire red sphere. Dang. Okay, that guy looks nasty. So I'm gonna let him walk up the stairs and pass us by. Walk away. Go away. Leave me be. Leave me be. Please move away. Okay, good job. Security's tight. Maybe you want to shut that machine off. Yeah. Oh crap. Alright, let's get this off and do this battle royale! Now we're talking. Cronon dampeners. Oh, portable cronon dampeners. Dang, girl. That is a sexy super suit. Gotcha. Alright. Who we got? Oh. Okay, that guy looks like he means business. Don't like him. That guy is spooky. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh yes, we can take out the basic souls. Ooh, ripping their gear, making their gear. Hey. I think we got him. No, we do not. Oh, I did. I got him. Good deal. Okay. 
Anybody left? Who's phasing through time? Oh, up there. Okay. Woo! Drain. You were headed for the party. Oh, I think that's everybody. What was your plan? I needed to get to Dr. Amaral before the stutter ended and Monarch found out I was coming. Okay, so we made it past the checkpoint. Those dampener guys are a little dangerous, but uh, we should be A-OK -okay here. Let's head up on top of this before. Burst fire pistol. I wish they had a heavy pistol. There's gotta be a way to get past that gate. Ooh. Carbine rifle, we are back. Give it to me, make it quack. Tactical. And some fresh, oh, fresh ammo. Thank you. All right. Uh, I think then we will stop right here. Before this gate, we'll cross the threshold and kind of go save Amaral soon. So that's time, everybody. Make sure that like button if you're ready for more. Hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am. Thanks a lot. I love you. Enjoy so much all. Till next time, we'll see you all later.